We have an exciting film breakdown coming at you today. We're going to be looking over Nebraska cornerback commit Amari Sanders coming out of Miami, Florida. And we'll break down everything he does well with that 6'2 frame, uh, things that maybe he needs to work on. Most importantly, things that we're looking forward to seeing as Nebraska black shirt for the next four to five years. So as always, if you like the content, please subscribe to this channel. We are the only Husker YouTube channel producing film content. We've ran through a lot of already current Nebraska commits. So if you haven't checked those out, uh, definitely hit up my channel but we'll have more coming at you all offseason long. And also hit a like button on the video. But without further ado, let's get into Amari Sanders film. All right, so let's start off with his highlights. If you're not familiar with the formatting, we start off with purely the best of his best from either his senior year, junior years, or both. In this case, we'll be looking over both his junior and senior year film. And then we'll go purely into his film, rep by rep from one of his games, and talk about the good and the bad. But let's start off with his highlights, folks. And as always, this is the first time I've seen this, so we're watching it well with each other. Quarterback rolls out. Great instincts to go up and get that jump ball. Man. Don't tell me he takes us to the crib. Okay, nice play. Yeah, we'll go back to that. Get pretty, pretty poor football um, by the quarterback. Do not get me wrong. But again, great instincts to read that the entire way, high point that football, and get under and make a nice return about, what, 15, 20 yards? Oh, nice way to get things started. Be interesting to see where he plays in the uh, in the secondary for his high school. Does he play purely cornerback, press coverage? Uh, does he play a little bit of nickel? Does he play safety? Already we're seeing a little bit of safety right here playing deep. Again, nice job high pointing that football, swatting it away. Getting good awareness where he is on the field as well. So yeah, already seeing a lot of him kind of at that safety. Another nice play. Um, where you know he's far away. He's not playing press coverage. That's something to watch if he does in fact play press coverage. Um, yeah, nice instincts there in the zone to read the play and get back to the ball. Even though he didn't make the tackle to pick it up. Scoop and take to the crib. So, real quick on the things that I'm looking for. Again, how familiar is he with playing press coverage? Um, again, does he have that flexibility? Has he played safety? Has he played nickel? Maybe um, even linebacker? Has he played that? So, those are the things I'm looking for. Positional flexibility. That's a big thing. I'm also looking for just ball instincts, great footwork, on uh, overall uh, physicality at that DB spot. Because he is 6'2". I wish I could have saw the entire play. A good, nice read. Another thing we're going to be looking for as well is just zone coverage and man coverage. A lot of times, a lot of times um, in high school, defenses only run one of two things: pure man coverage or um, cover two. That is the only two coverages that they mostly run. So it'll be interesting to see how experienced he is um, running more complex packages. So there's press coverage for the first time all film. Got beat initially. I think yeah, he just comes back and makes a play on the spot. And not great camera work. That's what you get when you're covering high school football. But Oh my goodness! That deserves a second look. That deserves a second look for sure. Man. Laid the boom on him. And that's absolutely what you want to see from these 6-2 corners. Nice job reading that ball and going up for it. A lot of time, and this is something I want to test when it comes to Amari Sanders. You know, the staff likes to say that he runs a 4-5, 4-4. Four, four, four. A lot of times when you're a 6-2 corner, you don't run that speed, and they do struggle um, with keeping up with your you know, your speedster wide receiver. So hopefully we can see in this film uh, how fast he really is, especially uh, just the quickness, because that's what you need when you're playing corner. You need that quickness uh, when, a, when a wide receiver makes a quick cut to get right there and respond. Nice open field tackling. That's something I've already seen already in this. A lot of tackling highlights. Something you don't exactly see a lot from uh, cornerbacks. (laughs) 
nice little play there on a punt return just to read a bad snap, take advantage. Get another just brutal hit on a running back, a head-to-head collision. You do not see many cornerbacks win that matchup a lot of the time. So the fact that he went down there, went downhill, met the running back head-to-head and won that rep, uh, it's incredible. So that was his junior highlights. Real quick, we'll get over to his senior highlights. Okay, here's his senior highlights. Let's get into it. Hate this ca- Oh my goodness. <laughs> I was going to say I hate this camera angle, but we already saw the athletic ability just now, but the fact that he went up and got this, he plays basketball, so you know he has that vertical. Come on. He went over his head to get that. Mossed him, man. That's what the kids do. Mossed him. More press coverage. You want to see this. Looks like it's man. And reads it. Great to make a boom on the running back in the flat. Another nice read there. Again, great vision. I mean, phenomenal. Phenomenal vision. He picks up the man right away when he catches the football. Looks back at the quarterback. Finds the ball. Uh, ball instincts is a big thing you cannot teach, man. He just has a nose for it. I'm, I'm super impressed right now. Really impressed. Another, again, same th- same deal, man. Great instincts. Dude, where are they playing this football game? That's why I don't, Look at the construction in the backfield. I mean, we're they're playing football games anywhere, I guess, nowadays. Just another nice play in the run department to read that and tackle the running back. A little, little running back highlight, so he does have that versatility. I was going to ask that if he has played both ways for his high school. It looks like he has. Um, let's see how there. Has experience playing offense. Nice cut, man. Really nice cut. Yeah, I wonder I wonder how many highlights are in here of him playing running back. I know they did play him a lot more at running back um, his senior year of high school now that I'm thinking about it. Hopefully he still has a lot of defensive back clips, though. Getting really shifty, though. He has a nice juke move in his bag, man. Make a quick cut. All right, back to defense. Getting great ball instincts. Basically eyeing down that quarterback. Makes a nice play. Another nice open field tackle. One thing I will say is we have not seen enough man coverage yet, and especially not enough press man coverage. Uh, hopefully we'll see a little bit of that when we get to the pure rep-by-rep rep film in a little bit. Nice, man. Tracks down a running back all the way. DK Metcalf style. Dude, I cannot get over. Where are they playing this football game at? I, I, cannot, I cannot get over that, man. All right, last last highlight here in a senior year film. This was his midway film. So this wasn't his entire um, senior year film, by the way. That he basically posted his film from midway through the year and then I think forgot to post his senior highlights. So that was his highlights. Pretty, pretty good. Now let's get to his rep-by-rep rep film right now. Okay, let's start off with this film. Real quick before we get into it, I apologize for the quality for these first couple of clips. They're not great. Uh, again, I keep saying it when we're covering high school football film. Uh, oftentimes, it looks like these are recorded on a potato, but uh, let's start things off. They're on that outside game. Remember, he wears number four. Man coverage. Yeah, nice read. I will say this about Amari Sanders. Yeah, basically, same deal here. Looks back to the quarterback a little too soon. The thing about Amari Sanders is that sometimes as a cornerback, especially in high school, you have your boss instincts take over. So you look back to the quarterback a little too soon. You're going to get beat because of that when you get to Big Ten play, when you get to Power 5 play. Because your eyes go back to the quarterback, your wideout's still not running his route, and he makes a move on you and gets that extra burst, uh, makes a play. right? So a lot of times uh, when cornerbacks get gets beat, it's because they look back too soon, they swivel their head, uh, and then they lose their man. So something that he needs to work on. Again, not really a big deal, though. Um, we're going to skip these couple clips here because they are um, basically 
not watchable because of the uh, quality. So they're right there on that outside. Again, number four. Good, good job picking up his man. Amari Sanders, I will say this. And good job. Again, read the play. Go back to the ball and tackle the running back. I will say this about Amari Sanders. He is not the fastest guy in the world. He's listed at 6'2". Um, but he has a really, really good ball instincts, really good eyes, really good footwork, and some pretty decent burst to make up for it. A beautiful play. And this is what you want to see from your defensive backs, right? Especially your cornerbacks, to fight through the run game, especially when you're getting blocked, to try to make a move and get to that football. Uh, a lot of cornerbacks who are soft, let's call it what it is, they don't make a play. They say, okay, play's over, right? I don't want to shed a block. Uh, but the fact that he does that, goes inside, gets an arm around that running back and makes a play, that's spectacular. Spectacular. I believe that's him right here, kind of at safety. Yep, getting good instincts there. By the way, I love these uniforms of his high school. They're phenomenal. These all whites. Beautiful. Beautiful play there. We'll go back to it. Again, basically read the comeback perfectly. They're on that outside. Good, good eyes. Boom. Right there, step by step with the wide receiver, draws back and basically says, hey, you're, you're in a standstill. Nice rep there from Amari Sanders. Same deal here, man coverage. Again, runs stride for stride. He's not the fastest in the world, but he runs stride for stride and makes a great play um, to even get back in that play in general. It was a, This is a really good football, folks. This is a really good football from the quarterback. That was the only place it could have been. So, yeah, sometimes, and this is my worry about Amari Sanders, is this is basically press coverage. Um, is that, yes, if a wide receiver is running a go route and you're on press coverage, it will be hard for Amari Sanders to make up for it. But he does a pretty, pretty solid job. This was just a phenomenal throw. Looks like the, the wide receiver did uh, end up dropping the football, so um, you know, could be a lot worse. But pretty solid rep there from Amari Sanders to get back in that believe this is him right here on the outside. I don't know. I could have been wrong. I Okay. I think this is him right here on the right. Again, it's hard to see the numbers. Yep, it is. So, again, right here. Not the same deal. Go route. Trying to make up for the play. Oh, this is the exact same rep. Never mind. That's why I figured. It's the same, exact same rep. Yeah, they just repeated the same reps. My bad. Get another nice read. Curl route comes back to it. Great vision. Again, really good footwork. That's always what you're looking at. Same deal here. Patient. So, that was his film. Um, again, pretty quick stuff from one of his games this fall. I think this is actually, I pulled this from his junior year. So, honestly, very impressive stuff. Let's get into my takes right now. All right, that was Amari Sanders, 6'2", cornerback out of Miami, Florida. Uh, what did I see? What was the good? What was the bad? So let's start off with the pros. Again, really great instincts, great footwork. We kept harping on it. A very, very physical cornerback. That's exactly what you would expect with him being as tall as he is with that frame. You want him to be physical. You want him to make tackles in the run game. I was so impressed. Him going downhill, making head-on tackles with running backs. Um, did not miss a beat. Had a bunch of open field tackles as well. That's something you love to see at any level, especially already in high school. Um, just phenomenal. That's exactly what you're getting. Just a physical cornerback who's a, who has an ability to make plays in all phases of the game. So that was the biggest thing that stood out to me. Really impressed by that. So phenomenal. Lots and lots of pros. I'd only say there's about two cons. Again, one is just we can't teach speed, right? Obviously, he's not going to be the fastest cornerback in the world. He's not going to be a guy who runs a 4-3. Uh, he's not going to be a guy who's just a pure burner and can make up for anything, right? He's going to have to have good for, footwork and good instincts to make up for it. If he gets burnt on a go route, he's not going to make up for it the entire way. That's okay. Um, but that that's one con, again, not, not his fault. Number two... Um, is the only thing I'd say as well. Again, is that it's that ball instinct, right? A lot of times his vision might get ahead of him. He's trying to make a play. And I'll give you a quick example. Malcolm Hartzog is the exact same way. Malcolm Hartzog's a talented cornerback. He's a talented safety. But 
his eyes got ahead of him so much when he was playing cornerback where he'd go back, look at the quarterback, try to make a play on the football. The ball wasn't being thrown, and the wide receiver would get open because of it because he'd make an extra move uh, while Hartzog wasn't looking. So that's something he needs to work on. Again, you can get away with that in high school ball when you're so much more talented than your opposing players. But you start to get taken advantage of when you're playing a lot of these better players in the Big Ten. So, again, just a quick mental thing that he needs to fix. But otherwise, I was super impressed. Really, really good defensive back commit. Um, really love these physical guys. Again, having a six-foot guy who runs a 4-4 is really nice. But I want a cornerback who can make plays in the running game as well. And that's exactly what we get from Amari Sanders. And there's a reason why... The staff was a stack to get him. Evan Cooper, shot to him. Uh, DB coach here in Nebraska locked him down for a while now. So really impressed with Amari Sanders. Let me know down below what you thought about his film and who else you want to see next in this film breakdown series. Um, again, please subscribe. We're the only ones making this video, these type of videos, these film breakdowns. Uh, and they're doing really well on the channel. So I really thank you for all, for, for all your support. But as always, folks, go Big Red, go Benton Rule. See you next one.